Hi there everyone, welcome to my garden. My name's Diane, this is Monty. <laughs> um, I garden here in the northeast of England and today we're gonna have some fun and I'm going to create my autumnal display outside the front of the garage. I'm going to create my display here um, on this old garden lounger that broke um, and I've sort of cut it down to size. I will put a link in the, the video. If you're looking for links, you know the little, um, the little written piece of information underneath the initial video, the links are in there. But I'll show you how I sort of create this barrow effect from the garden lounger. So I just painted it black and then I've got these beautiful old crates. Um, and I was just trying to go along the sort of, recreate a sort of Covent Garden style barrow. Um, and then I can, um, what I normally do is, I keep all the plants that I buy on a weekly basis in this area, arrange them so that they look nice. But then it reminds me, it's a visual reminder of just how many plants I need to sort of get out and into the garden. So I was up very early this morning, emptied these out, and I'm going to make an autumnal um, display. So if you want to create your autumn display, you really, you don't have to go out and buy loads and loads of new plants for it. What I do is I just look around my garden um, and I see which plants have that lovely autumnal richness to them and which, and they're all looking good. Um, so I always um, rely on my trusty heuchera. So I've got lots of these around the garden. So I've got this beautiful one. Um, with sort of a deep veined leaf. If you can come in closer to it. And then this gorgeous one here. I, ha I don't know any of the names of these heucheras, um, but you can see I've got a lovely autumnal palette going on, rich, deep burgundies, and then that almost luminous pinky red there, which ties in with those pansies. And then I've got lots of chrysanthemums, which um, I haven't brought a chrysanthemum for years. I just take um, tip cuttings. So I've got them behind me, got them here. Um, then I've got all my pumpkins. And then I bought these beautiful little, little heathers. Um, I've also got um, a bag of just basic, I think it's hay from the local pet store. And what I want to do, try and do is just create um, a sort of cart that's spilling over with pumpkins and, or, or I've also bought some lovely um, deep red onions and some carrots to just sort of give that sort of harvest festival vibe to it. Right, so let's get cracking. Right, so I've got some um, clean empty pots just in case I want to elevate any of these pumpkins. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the um, camera on the tripod um, and then I'll slightly speed up the film so you can sort of see me work because I don't plan this out beforehand. I just like to sort of go with it. It's very organic. Um, and we'll just have some fun faffing around with pumpkins. So I think I will do one at a time. Mm. I thought this was going to be the long straw and it's not, it's short, but I'm just going to work along the front like that. This bag is actually what I was using last year. So it lasts a long time. Then you just put it in your compost bin afterwards. I think maybe like that. Try that first. 
And then I'll put a heucra in like that. He's gorgeous. Swede. Whatever that is. Um, put him in next. Right, I also forgot I'd bought these ones, which they look artificial, they're so pretty, but they were really cheap, um, and they're not, they're real, uh, and then like tiny little ones, um, and then I've got these beautiful red onions, just to give me that pop of redness, and the trusty carrots, um, right, so... I'm thinking I don't want two orange ones together. So I'm thinking I might put a black one there. Like that. Actually, I'll turn that plant pot upside down. He's too. I need some smaller plant pots. Actually, we'll bring this large pumpkin forward down on that level. And we'll put that bit of green meat at the back. Like that, because that's a chrysanthemum and that's going to look gorgeous. And we can put straw around him. Like that. Right. Maybe a little heather in there. With a pumpkin. And just hold them in place with just these empty little pots that's it right yeah right what else we have some nice soft foliage there some nice pansies and maybe this purple heucra yeah right let's start this one Ooh. these gorgeous onions around the front it's a bit of color right we'll do the next bit We've got large pumpkin there, large pumpkin there. I think we need a large pumpkin over on the left hand side there. Ooh, he's a monster. Yeah, that looks good. That's it. Now, what have we got? Um, oh, I know. We can get some height here with this beautiful grass, this penstemon.
Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? along the front there you definitely need a bit of purple at this side that's it move my carrots out the way I think maybe an, a large one there and something else here. Put that straw in there just to cover the, the pots up. Like that. A little pumpkin there. Right, I've had a rethink, and because these um, these mums are like homegrown, they're not forced at all. These have been out all year, so they're nowhere near as good as the shops are at the moment. But they will all flower. Um, so I thought, right, go with that. So I'm going to have a nice display of flowering mums there. And I don't know whether this is going to work or whether you're going to hate it or love it or what, but I love this chicken. It's pottery. It's beautifully coloured and glazed, and I've had them forever. Um, so, you know, I'm going to sit the chicken <laughs> there, right? And I thought, take the heuchera out, but put some nice pansies in there. Take him off. These need a bit of a, a dead head. They're just so gorgeous. So there we go what do you think I think it looks really pretty very colorful loving my little crab apples They're gorgeous and then just a nice mix of colors and textures
there we have it. Um, I'm very pleased with it. I think it'll put a smile on people's face as they come up the drive. And I would definitely recommend you do um, an autumn display. You know, you don't need as many pumpkins as this, a one, two pumpkins and some pansies, and you could make a lovely little arrangement. Um, I'm very pleased with this cart, I have to say. I think it's one of the most practical things that I've ever made for the garden. Um, I think it's a great way to showcase your plants. As I say, through the year, I've been putting the plants that I buy quite regularly um, on a weekly basis. I put them there and then it's a very visual reminder of all the plants that I need to get out in the garden. Um, but then it sort of comes into its own and showcases um any type of display you might want to do um you know this could be um wedding themed one of my daughters when she got married i grew or everything white white geranium or white plants and that that would have been lovely then um i can quite easily modify it and put a few pointers in and make it halloweeny for the kids um and then at christmas um Lots, well, I'll have to think about what I can do at Christmas with it. So, and nothing gets wasted because it's like having my very own little pumpkin patch. Um, I can just come out, pick a pumpkin, take it in, make some delicious pumpkin soup. If you've never made that, um, I might have to do a video on making pumpkin soup. That's delicious. And then the skins, they just go in my compost bin um, and compost down so do remember when you're busy this october in the garden it just take some time and have some fun it's been great fun doing this i've loved it um and i hope you're having a lovely october if you're new to the channel very warm welcome and um i do hope you come back and see my subsequent videos um, and take care everyone. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye